Fibromyalgia has been in news quite a bit these days. Earlier this year, Lady Gaga revealed her fight with a chronic illness in a documentary on Netflix. Well, UIC has played a major role in advancing the research behind understanding and treating fibromyalgia. And we had Dr. Bruce Gillis from UIC to tell us about the new tool developed by the research at UIC to diagnose this disease and new studies to help you better understand it. Dr. Gillis, thanks for being here with us. Thank you very much for having me. So for a lot of people, they hear me say fibromyalgia and they think, you know, is he mispronouncing something? What is that? I haven't heard about it. Can you explain the disease? Fibromyalgia is a uh, common affliction. It happens in approximately one out of every 15 men, women, and children. They are afflicted with uh, chronic fatigue, uh, diffuse tenderness and pain, brain fog or mental confusion, headaches, poor sleep, lack of sex drives, gastrointestinal upset. Now, a, a lot of people, and I, I saw this in uh, not so much the documentary, but with like, the character on Real Housewives, um, whose name's failing me, but she suffered from it. And a lot of people don't believe it's an actual disease, and it's all just a, a, a figment of your imagination. Is that accurate? A lot of people in your field have not made aware or denied that this is actually an illness. There is a terrible bias against people. It was often thought to be an affliction of neurotic women. Wow. Uh, and until we came out with the test, there was nothing objective to prove that it existed. Our test identified the fact that patients with fibromyalgia suffer with an immunologic disturbance. Certain cells, white blood cells, fail to produce adequate quantities of important and protective proteins. So who's at risk of the illness, uh, most at risk? Uh, as it turns out, it's about 60% women, but it also afflicts men and children as well. Um, it really cuts through not just only gender, it makes no difference as far as ethnicity or race and no difference on age it, so from 10 to 100. It doesn't discriminate. No. Can you tell me one of the symptoms to maybe be on the lookout for for our audience out there looking or listening and are thinking, could I have that? The number one symptom is chronic fatigue. You have total lack of energy, literally have difficulty getting out of bed. The, the affliction makes people look perfectly normal but yet they have diffuse pain, they have, as I already said, brain fog, difficulty understanding things and talking with you, but uh, the fatigue is overwhelming. Can you tell us about the test that you guys have, it's breakthrough to test fibromyalgia? This is a simple blood test, needs less than an ounce of blood. Uh, it has a test sensitivity or accuracy of 99%. In a f matter of a few days, we can tell if you have this affliction. It's covered by most insurance plans, including That's Medicare, right. and we highly recommend it. And we are hopeful that medical professionals will end this prejudice they have against people who present with these diffuse symptoms. Dr. Bruce Gill is doing great work. We really appreciate you taking the time to stop in here with us and filling us in. And like you said, it's an easy test. It's covered by most health insurance packages. So go out there and make sure if you think you might be suffering from these symptoms, get it taken care of. If you're interested in finding out more information about fibromyalgia, the FMA test and these landmark research efforts, head over to fmtest.com and get informed.